Yo guys, it is Fraz here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Maple County. And Maple County had an update where you can be EMT. So this update came out like two weeks ago. And if you go on your phone and we go over to the left, there's our phone pop up, lovely jubbly. We can actually join the new team. So this is like the ambulance team. We're gonna join it before other people do. Because there's only room for one more person, which is going to be me. But, this is an awesome update. And I, I just love this game for adding this. It's just so cool just to add. So, amazing fraz, as you can see on the screen here. Yeah, but you can choose what you want to have. So, we can choose our skin colour. Uh, we can do like a hat, hair, shirt, pants, upper torso and lower torso. We've got everything how I want it. So, let's go and deploy. Okay. And now we have ambulance space. So you can actually like drive an ambulance. And what will shock you in this game is you get actual calls as well, which I will show out. So yeah, you can join calls. You, it's really fun if you do it with friends as well. So you can have another guy in your ambulance helping out and it would be way quicker. Or you can also just have another guy, you know, like responding to your calls as well. Alright, which ambulance should we go with? Let's go with this one. This it's the only one that I have, okay? Don't judge me, alright? <laughs> but yeah, this is Maple County, guys. It's kind of a new game, but you do have to pay for it. I will put it in the description in case you do want to play it. But yeah, we've never played this game before, so I thought it'd be nice just to play it. And play as an ambulance person. But yeah, you can also play as, like, um, you know, police and sheriff. Just like ERLC. There's no DOT though, um, but maybe they might add that, you never know. Whereas here we are, this is our lovely jubbly vehicle. So to check our calls, let's just park over. We can log in like this, and then we can go to the call menu. And then it shows you all the calls. And then look, it says soccer fields, units dispatch, how many people are there. And then cardiac arrest is, you know, what the call is. Now, obviously, like, some of these people have already responded to. This one says a fall at 97, but I don't think that's a valid call, so we're going to decline that. It is a bit buggy still, guys. Um, like, some calls, if they don't show up. Oh, we've got a call, though. We've got a call. Right, gunshot wound. Right, this is call 99. Let's go, lads. So, this is actually really cool. I do like it a lot. But right, so first we're going to get this bag. So you can come to your patient, you can join the scene, you plop it down, and then what you need to do is you need to then get your defibrillator as well, or whatever it's called, and then you plop that down as well. And then what we can do is a review options, we can apply these leads, which basically tell us their heart rate. So we just... Um, hover over until it goes green. It's a bit buggy. And then we just click it. Come on. There we go. So then we have that and it says, yeah, no, they're conscious. They're just on the floor for no no good reason. I don't know why they're always on the floor. Like, if they're conscious, they'd be sitting up. They wouldn't just be laying on the floor all the time, but fair enough. But then we need to inspect the patient. So you just find the limbs. This is very buggy. And then you just... You hold your mouse cursor over the dots, and that basically searches um, or inspects the body. Okay, now once you've done that, it basically says you. It basically has a checklist on the left. So it says torso, apply bandages. So we're gonna go to apply bandages. I'm gonna go on the torso. Boom, and then. Left leg needs a bandage as well. So, apply bandages, find his left leg, and then we'll pop that on there. Okay, now that seems to be it. We just need to clear the scene. So, what I would do next is I would pick this up, and then we just pop it back in, just like that. Also, that noise or that chime is when there's a new call, guys. So, if you ever hear that and you're not in a call, make sure you go to your... Um, well, you have to be in a vehicle, but make sure you go to your tablet. You have to press U on keyboard, and then it'll pop up. 
and then you just accept it. If someone else has already accepted it, do not try and go on it. And only accept brand new calls, okay? Because otherwise, you may have bugs because it may be an old call. Because they don't usually disappear straight away. But now we've done that, we need to clear the scene. And we also need um, to get our stretcher out. So what we're going to do is we have to lower it to get them on. And then we have to, like, throw it at the face. Like this. Hello. Also, really cool outfit, by the way. Good Halloween outfit. Get in my stretcher. Then we press that. Yes. And then we want to raise it. And then we come over here. And then we go to the back. And then it says that. So it says yes. Then we can come to the front. And then we can drive our lovely ambulance back to the drop-off zone. Which is also marked. Just look around, guys. It will, like, show it somewhere. I don't think we're actually going to get out of this playground. So, maybe here a while. No, we're not. Okay, good. But, yeah, now we can turn our lights off so we don't really need that on. But then we just have to go to our drop-off point. So, this is the hospital. And, look, you get paid for it as well. I haven't played for that long and I'm already at 18,000. So, that's pretty good. Right, but it's just up here, guys. So, once we get there, we'll have to go around the back. But then you have to get them out of their stretcher again. And then I'll show you what's really cool, which I do like. Yeah, so we come around the back of the hospital. We can park in this, like, bay area here. And then we come out. We go into here. We get the stretcher. Then what we have to do is you have to lower the stretcher. Then we go through the emergency room. And as you can see... It says drop off in here. And then all we have to do is have to raise it again. And then we have to pop them onto the bed over here. And then it will tell us what we got. So we got 11 XP. And we got all that stuff done. So lovely jubbly. And then that's your patient. And then obviously this hospital staff would take care of that lovely person. And then you can go ahead and do... Another call by pressing U, logging in, going to your call menu, and choose whichever call you'd like to do. So, for example, we could do this one, and it's over there. So, yeah, guys, that's how the ambulance works. But this is just a really cool game, and I just really wanted to show this ambulance feature. All. Like, it was, it was very new, and it's awesome, because it's never been, you know, seen in another game. So... It's amazing. So shout out to developers for this. The game is quite expensive. So don't buy it. If you're not going to play it. And also you do need a very good PC. And yes I say PC. Like I'm. I'm running probably like 30 to 20 frames. Like when I move my camera fast. And I have a RTX 3070. Which is. Almost a £1,000 card. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy. Um, a thing that you will not need to refund is a subscription on this channel. Because it is free. And it does absolutely nothing to you. Apart from recommend my videos. And give me, give me better things like money. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. It's your boy Fraz the Paramedic. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you.